Hi all, just a quick video, um, Gen 1 front bumper setup, I've lifted it to match the 50mm um, body lift. Now I've done the brackets on the, the ball bar itself and I've been busy getting holes to line up and all that sort of thing. Um, try your best to measure things up but yeah when you put it on there it's crooked on the body so either the chassis is slightly bent or uh, there's um, a twist in the ball bar which is more likely the case. I've converted it from Gen 1 configuration, which is basically 4 8mm, um, sorry, 10mm, 4 10mm bolt holes, uh, 4 on each side, um, but I've converted to Gen 2 where it uses one long one and stiffening plates in between, and you can just see in there, stiffening plates, so it stiffens the whole thing up. I've also welded a gusset plate on the bottom. And there, I've welded the plate at the top here as well. I've also added um, this here from the regular height to the top here is 50 mil. If I wanted to, I could put the standard bumper on and it would fit perfectly again. Um, I've only just sick of flexed that on to space it out, basically because the ball bar is not the same as the bumper bar. So, um, but that, if need be, that could be easily cut off because it's welded from the inside. So you could cut that off if you wanted to and convert it back. Um, so that's a much stronger setup. You can see there. Yeah, I've gone for basically from eight small bolts in here, which had flex to stiffened up to four large ones, extra one in the top, which the original ball bar didn't have in use, which now does, and I've already drilled and tapped that out to a bigger bolt and put a stronger bolt in on the side plate, which incidentally also holds the front bash plate set up on so there you go you can see how it's done there that side and inside so yeah happy with how it's come up so it's looking good